What's up guys, welcome back to an episode of Dirt Nation Off-Road. So today we're going to be doing an install on the Dirt Nation Tacoma. And what we're going to be doing today is upgrading our LED headlights. Now, a couple years ago, I think actually like two years ago to the month, we actually did an install on some Lost Fit LED headlights. And to be honest, they've been great for us. They've been very, very good headlights. Um, we've been using them for years, obviously. And even on night runs and everything like that, like you guys see. I have a ton of extra lights on the front of this truck. I usually don't need them, especially when we're in pitch black and stuff like that. My, my brights, I virtually never use my brights because they're still the stock halogen ones. The uh, upgraded LED headlights have been great, but it's time for us to upgrade, try something new and try something a little different. So the ones that we're gonna be installing today is actually, it's from the same company, it's from Last Fit, but it's a upgraded set. Um, they actually have a few things going on with them. We'll go over it in a second when we unbox it, but these are supposed to be an upgraded version of the ones that I currently have, kind of the new model, but we're gonna install those. And then we also have to do, um, because of years of abuse, I have to install some new headlights. Um, I actually have them right there. You guys can see. So here's our brand new LED headlights. Like I said, these are from Lost Fit and these are actually the pro version. And, uh, the model number on these is the, uh, pro H 11 and there's a QR code right there. Bam. So we'll unbox these. Let's see what's in here. Now, pretty simple with the boxing. You have some paperwork. You have, uh, three different color decals. And then you have the LEDs themselves. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, just at first glance, these are massive. Holy crap. These are a lot bigger than the old ones. And picking them up, uh, metal construction on the fan, and it just, they're very weighty. They seem solid like this. These are built well. So pretty cool stuff there. Now, some of the features on these, which is a big upgrade. Obviously having a bigger cooling fan is gonna be good for cooling purposes. These also have like a copper heat pipe on the inside. I was taking a look at some of the, you know, the features of these and what's upgraded about them. So copper heat pipe on the inside for cooling purposes, just so this light lasts a long time. It actually has 50,000 hours of life in these, which is more than enough that we're gonna need on this Tacoma. And also right here, you see this rubber ring this is gonna be good for keeping water out from this port, which is a really big deal because if you look at my lights, you can see right there, none of this is on the outside. This is all dirty from the inside, from all the freaking off-roading and mudding and everything that we've done. This is gonna help out a little bit with that and that's gonna be a good thing right there. But these are fairly simple to install. What we'll go ahead and do is I gotta get all this stuff off the hood. We're gonna lift the hood. I gotta take out the stock headlights and we'll show you how to install these very very simple stuff let's get to it so let me show you i'll give you a real life look into the world of off-roading and abusing your truck these are the things you have to do to keep your headlights in sometimes zip ties galore that's the only way i have this thing holding in place there's no bolts on this same thing with the grill so even over here same thing this is all cracked this is a very common thing on these trucks. The front end on most modern trucks are built so terribly that they're meant to fall apart. It sucks, but that's just how it is. So I actually have to take off the grill as well. So I'm gonna take off the grill, then I'm gonna take out both the front headlights, and then we'll show you how to install those LEDs. So grill is out, it's two tens, and then you're gonna have some clips right there. My clips broke, so I don't even have to worry about those. And then up next, we're gonna go ahead and just start cutting zip ties, baby. Love it. Okay. Those are off. That's off. Cool. So, that's much. See? It just comes right out. So, I'll grab our new driver's side light over here. It's not new. It's new to me. So we'll take out the first one. So pretty much what you have to do, here's our old LED headlights. So super, super easy to take these off. It's literally, is that it? Oh, never mind. It looks like, see, with age, things happen. That's how it's supposed to look, but it looks like this seal 
busted on it but i mean these are still working just fine you see they have a ton of dirt on them and then i'm gonna have, go ahead and unplug this from the clip but if this was the install for you guys you would just install the new light and then go from there i gotta swap all this stuff to the new headlight but we'll jump back right here where when we're gonna install the new headlight new headlight is installed i got it all loosened up and what we'll be doing now is putting on our brand new led so it'll connect right in there you just want to make sure that your clip is matching up on that side so that's plugged in right there i'm going to go turn on the light and you guys can let me know if it works oh yeah right cool so that's plugged in correctly so what we'll have to do next is you have the light itself so this will just slide in there and you match up the three the three dots and then you just spin it and then it locks into place what we'll do next is just slide the headlight back into place bolt everything up and then one side is done and we'll get started on the other so same deal here i already swapped everything for this headlight we just got to do this one and then do a test so i'm going to go ahead and plug that in like so so that one's plugged in put it right there make sure it turns on goofed it so we're going to swap the connection so that should work right there very bright and i'll say these actually eh, they're about as equally as loud as the old ones not too bad no complaints here Okay, so that one's in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this light in. I'm gonna put the whole front end back together before it gets dark. And then what I went ahead and did a couple days ago, the old headlights, I went and got some test footage so we can have some comparisons between the old ones and the new ones. So we'll go ahead, head over to the park and get that test going next. And then we'll wrap it up from there. All right, well, looking at the comparison footage, you guys can see the LED lights, they work very, very well. Um, I did a little bit of night driving and some driving this morning and they work great. Now, the only thing I'll say is like, when you compare them, they're both bright and they both work well. So is this a good upgrade for your Tacoma or for your truck? Yes, absolutely. If you already have LED headlights, you might not necessarily need an upgrade like this because they're still bright. They still work very well. Um, these just have those extra benefits with cooling and with durability and everything like that and the solid construction. If you have LED headlights, just take a look at these, see what you guys think. But that is it for this installation. I will go ahead and link Lost Fit down below so you guys can check out their products see what works for your vehicle and go from there i want to thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel follow us on instagram facebook youtube and patreon you'll see us up for shirts hats hoodies and all those other goodies at dirtnation off road gmail.com look forward to more installations on the tacoma as well as our other trucks here at dirt nation thank you guys till next time let's get it